and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Iceborne Spiders. So this deck is going to be built around making Spiderlings. We're going to have like attack, uh, attacking Elise make Spiderlings. We're going to have Crawling Sensation, Hapless Aristocrat, whenever it dies, make some Spiderlings. And then even Brood Awakening. Summon three Spiderlings and then grant all of our sp Spider Allies plus one plus zero. Those are the ones that are in play currently. All right, so we're going to have lots of Spiderlings. So usually Spiderlings are just one mana, one ones. You know, not that powerful. Um, you know, not that great. But what we're going to have is play that with Iceborne Legacy. This says grant an ally and all copies of it everywhere plus two plus two. So we're going to be trying to grant a Spiderling plus two plus two. And then all of our Spiderlings everywhere will be get that plus two plus two. So now they'll all be three three. So right, like whenever it Elise attacks, it puts a three three into play attacking. Like now we're talking like that's very powerful whenever that happens. So that's our combo here is Spiderlings with Iceborne Legacy going wide, being kind of difficult for our opponents to deal with. Um, if we get another Iceborne Legacy, now they're five fives, you know, and stuff like that. That's crazy. So then uh, as our alternate win conditions for the top end, we're going to have Trindamir coming in here, being all powerful and stuff, and then we're going to have some Battle Furies with the Trindamir. I kind of like that because the spider plan doesn't always work against everybody. So in case it doesn't work, uh, we just go big and, <laughs> and hit hard with Trindamir Battle Fury. That that's pretty cool. All right, but it's our Iceborne Spiders deck list. Let's go ahead and play our games. We're just going to be playing them over in normal because it's meme tier day. And let's see if we can get that combo going with Iceborne Legacy and a Spiderling. Yeah, we can Battle Fury a Spiderling. Make it a big Spiderling. So it looks like the opponent's playing some spiders as well. Uh, let's keep one Elixir of Iron to help protect Elise. I'll keep a second. <laughs> yeah, they're playing. They're playing generic Noxus spiders. Lame. I pull the strings. I know what lurks in the shadows. All right, got our first spider. Unfortunately, I can't block any or can't block and or play anything. Thankfully, they attack with the Elise and allow me to block here. So that means I get to double crawling sensation, which will be a leveled up Elise. It doesn't really make sense to attack with the others and deal two damage for that. Unfortunately, with these things being fearsome, yeah, they just have too much fearsome, unfortunately. Too much fearsome. Brood Awakening doesn't doesn't help. I mean, we'd only one. We'd only get two spiders instead of three. If I would have played it before, but then it only turns the spiders into two power instead of three. No, Brood doesn't give us fearsome blockers.
GG's. Alright, so struggle a little bit against Fearsome. Could use those vile fees. Yeah, not the matchup to draw Trindamir. <laughs> Alright, the other end of the spectrum, we're gonna be playing against a slower deck. This will be a better time to draw Trindamir in the mid game. We'll have more use for it. Um, Alright, we're gonna keep Iceborne Legacy. We're probably gonna find a Spiderling somewhere. Yeah, I mean, I, I did a lot of mulliganing that last game. We kept, like, Elise and... Was that, like, the only card we kept? I don't know. Maybe we kept one other you know card. What my is? Glorious. I like Armed Gearhead. I think Armed Gearhead's kind of underrated. You can attack really well. They're out there. I'll spot them. That I am superior life form. Disengage. Mystical levitation requires concentration. Please work. Don't have it. Don't have a death ray. All right. Three, three spiderlings. Let's go. Good. That can take out the armed gearhead and get a three, three. All right. So our game plan has worked so far. Iceborne legacy on the spiderlings. Zenith Blade's still going to be pretty scary. Can you improve perfection? Rise, metal brethren. Alright, 3-3 three, three Spiderlings. The spiderlings are real attackers. Safeguard our homes. So ordinary. <laughs> Taking out ballistic bots. Let's go. Found another Iceborne Legacy. Of course, I do have a vengeance for that thing. There's nothing to fear. But they could have a Bastion. That would be the uh, problem with the vengeance. No, attacking with the least doesn't really make sense. Like, that wouldn't have made sense with just, like, the 2 3 attacking in, for, like, their big ballistic bots. I like this. This works out. Mm. 
Nah. I should probably wait. Like, you know, maybe they play the Zenith Blade on the Vine. That'll do, though. Iceborne spiders. They are scary. One on one. Yeah, so we have Elixir of Irons and Troll Chance in here to be able to protect the Iceborne legacy. <laughs> More than mortal, I am Iceborne. Alright, what we got? Alright. Yes. Good thing we kept this Vile Feast. I wasn't sure exactly what the Vile Feast was going to be doing, but um, yeah, Trifarian Glory Seeker, that makes a lot of sense for the Vile Feast. Places to go, people to be. We must all make sacrifices. My move. So we'll level up Elise. You dare! Our deck does a good job of leveling up Elise. We've played three games, we've leveled up Elise every single game. Not playing the other Crawling Sensation, of course. So we could have the Iceborne Legacy. Is beneath the skin. Yeah, I'm scared of Cooling Strike. Cooling Strike, Death's in, all that kind of stuff. So we're gonna do that attack, try to kill the LeBlanc. Let them spend mana. They're not spending mana. That's egg. I wanted to let them try to tap out and then I Legacy. Was the hope? We fight for one Freljord. Still have the three mana left. Uh, man. I don't know. Um. One mana short of double Iceborne Legacy. Smoke and mirrors. LeBlanc's leveling up here. I can keep LeBlanc from leveling up. By blocking and then vile feasting my own thing. I am everywhere. I am everyone.
And yeah, LeBlanc's really good. They could still have another LeBlanc, like that's what they would have to have. Please don't have it. Please don't have a third LeBlanc. Alright, good. Get that Iceborne legacy started. Um Still not exactly sure how we're dealing with this. With this LeBlanc, it's not going to be easy. We have a board of four threes, no reckoning, unless the reckoning costs five mana for some reason. Get them, spiders. Let's get them. This is our homeland. Are you certain? Because Iceborne's a slow speed spell, so I Iceborne first, then they play like, you know, then they get to play like another blocker. Um, I also I have the mana for Troll Chant right now. Or sorry, sorry, for Battle Fury. Like, there's not really a reason to... Um, to Iceborne when you have Battle Fury. And there we go, Battle Fury Spider! Build build your own Trindamir. Got him. That's a Furious Spider. Yeah, I like that top end with Battle Furies. Not sure of the Trindamir yet, but I like the Battle Furies at the top end for sure. <laughs> Carmen says, that spider has to be super pissed. He saw his mum die and a bunch of his family. Yeah, Battle Fury is great for the go wide deck. I, I, I like that at the top end for sure. I'm going to mulligan it, looking for Iceborne Legacy first. Alright, so we'll have turn 3 Awakening. Maybe better to wait on Awakening, I don't know. Yay, Elise. What's that noise? Alright, this person that made the decks of the Trindamir is pretty random. Don't know what to add, to be honest. Um, Sejuani is probably better than, than Trindamir in the same kind of spot. Just the 8 mana, as we have seen, is a little too much mana. So maybe Sejuani could be a, 
Uh, another thing that's like kind of like removal and frostbite and overwhelm. I like the I like the Battle Furies though. I wouldn't mind going three Battle Fury in this deck to be honest. Like, there's two Battle Fury, two Trindamir right now. Right? Two Battle Fury, three Trindamir. I could see just even switching that and just playing three Battle Fury. Uh, Gonna attack. Look at this. All right, they did attack. You have to get me out of here. Please, I have connections. So we go. So we're both at fifteen. What? After attacking, All for the best, my pet. sometimes you play against a newer player than normal. I feel like our opponent didn't know exactly how that worked. Smooth as silk. They did get two two more damage in. Right, this would put them to three. Just try killing this thing. Okay, now it's eight. Clear the board. We're going to draw some cards. They could have the seven mana burst spell next turn that kills all my stuff. So I'm going to find Iceborne Legacy in case of that. Uh, Spirit Fire. No Iceborne. Never lucky. <laughs> All these games have been over one way or another before we could even cast Trindamir. We can always rely on you to keep us safe. See what we see. So <laughs> yeah, we're never lucky. Besides all the times that we're lucky. <laughs> the spiders are pretty fearsome. Right now they don't have anything that can block a spider. Jinmi is like a cheerleader. It's here for support. Oh, they tell you your MP? Oh, I guess it's blocked by my camera. But they tell you your MP for the card. That's weird.
<laughs> Waiter, your finest iceborne, please. No attacks. Alright, no spirit fire and the game's over. Spirit fire and we play on. And that's going to be game over. Three and one. Yeah, I, it didn't look like they disconnected. It kind of looked like maybe they stopped playing, like something happened, you know, like their doorbell rang and they went to go answer it or something or got a phone call or they're like, oh, no, my pizza bur pizza's burning and something like that, but. Yeah. Remember, mean tier days we play in normal. So don't don't always have the highest expectation for our opponents. <laughs> but yeah, at least at least did some good work there. <laughs> Instead of Trindamir, we should play it that stairs. I don't know about that. I don't know if that's a good idea. We'll keep Troll Chant. Elise, where are you at? No Elise, no Iceborne Legacy? Come on. Gotta have one of those. Yeah, there's Elise. Let's go. They're gonna play their 3 1 to block. Tomorrow. We could use a bite. I guess that 3 1 wasn't invited to the block party. The trap is set. Um. Could just pass. Hmm. on the trail. Hmm. All right, so I block Glimpse Beyond. So young. Ah, I didn't get there. So I'm gonna get a second Crawling Sensation, you know, or a second Elise, which would be a Crawling Sensation for the You're Champion so spell. One way or another. Be a leveled up Elise. Lame. That's gonna be a leveled up Elise. Really? Gosh, these shape sounds are nice. The three, <laughs> the three to, plus three is so much. is so much. Let me change into something more comfortable. Where are you at, Iceborne Legacy? We need bigger spiders. These stories were true.
No challenger cards, please. They have a lot of cards still. They have the same amount of cards as I do. They did have the Preservarium that drew two. I had a Glimpse Beyond and a Spirit Leech that both drew two. But we've played more cards than they have. Um, no, I don't think... The question is, do you think they'll ever update a champion level up animation? Probably not. I don't... I think they're pretty set in stone. I don't anticipate that changing much at all. So we know they don't have any of the vulnerable cards in hand. It's a good start. Could have really used an Iceborne Legacy. See, like last turn, like if Trindamir was Sejuani, last turn, you know, like we would have had Sejuani go and kill this Renekton, and like, you know, that like that would have been awesome. Then we'd have like the 5 6 also for blocking. So I, Trindamir should probably be Sejuani. I think Sejuani's probably just going to be a better card. And 8 mana is just too much mana. It's just too much. If they're out there, I'll spot them. Pain is nothing. Obviously, just millions of overwhelm. Too big for our little spiders. If we had an Iceborne Legacy, you know, like then, then you know, like then we're talking because then our spiders can kind of match up. But if we're only going to just have one one, you know, like so that was just kind of unlucky not having an Iceborne Legacy. But like if we're only going to have one ones against those super big overwhelms, it's not going to work. All right, so yeah, so that's what... Um, so pretty cool deck here, though. I liked having, like, the, that Battle Fury at the top end. So I think what I'd recommend is, like, let's go with the three Battle Fury. Or, you know, two and, you know, either way. But then, then you know, throw us Sejuani's in here. Right, Sejuani kind of helps out with, like, your different spiders. You get to get... You get to take, like, whatever is, like, their good blocker for the spiders. You get to Frostbite that and, and challenge it with the Sejuani. Or even challenge it with the spider and have the Sejuani overwhelm happen in. Um, I think that the Sejuani could really help out this deck. But besides that, I was pretty happy with most everything else. The Avaros and Sentries didn't do... They kind of underperformed. Vengeance. Vengeance would have been nice that game. But overall, it, it underperformed. It's a lot of mana. Um... It's a lot of mana. It's, it's you know very good against Nasus type stuff, but um, another option that could be in this deck, of course, like always, is three sisters. They can give you just like some different versatility depending on what you need. Give you that Fury of the North for extra damage, or or the Flash Freeze. Um, I would probably play three Battle Fury over. I'd play a third Battle Fury over the second Vengeance. Um, Black Spear is another option because you do have a lot of things that die quite a bit. And so Black Spear can be very cheap, like good removal, like four damage, good removal like, to help out, especially help out like your uh, one ones that maybe your one one does damage to a five five and then you Black Spear it. So maybe Black Spear, like, you know, it doesn't kill like the super big things, but maybe that that's just a, a better use of your mana is playing Black Spear instead of Vengeance.
No, we had no skitters in here. Um. The sentries did kind of underperform, so I could see I could see taking out sentry. Didn't seem like we needed that with the card draw with having glimpse beyond and spirit leech anyway. So maybe if you take out sentry, take out vengeance, you can play a couple black spear and a couple of skitterers. Help get those things to attack for more. And of course, help that that attacking for more helps whenever they have the challenger with the lease. They'll probably recommend those. Okay, but there's definitely some cool stuff here. It needs a little tuning. I think I would kind of recommend a deck list that looks a little bit like this more after after playing those games. I was excited for Trindamir, but it turned out that Trindamir just couldn't. We couldn't ever play the card um, every single game. Every single game, we the game ended before turn eight, so like it was or like before we could play a trend of mirror one way or another. Um, shrieking arachnoid host, yeah, host is Noxus. I think shrieking is Noxus also. Like, those are yeah, those are Noxus cards. We can't play those cards. Oh yeah, that's what you said. There are there are noxes. Yeah. No, I don't. I don't think. I I think I'll just play Sejuani's over Trindamir's. Honestly, Sejuani's good. Gives you like that little bit more removal interaction. Help you know challenge like something that helps your other spiders out. Like you 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 can use do a lot of stuff with this. Great on defense. Also, like if um you know if you're just trying to survive a turn, you can use the Sejuani to like get rid of like their best attacker. Also great on defense like if you just need to survive a turn and then come back and attack with battle furies on the way back all right cool little deck here though there we go that's iceborne spider still got that three two those of y'all watching later on youtube hit that like button over there and of course as always feel free to leave those comments let me know what you think of this new updated version of Iceborne Spiders. I think it looked good. I think this did better than a lot of the Iceborne Spiders we had played in the past. I think playing like Elixir of Iron and Troll Chant to try to help keep your spiders alive for Iceborne Legacy makes a lot of sense. I think the um, Spirit Leech was a good new addition to the deck. And Battle Fury I think was really good. That was a good good smart play playing some Battle Furies in here. All right, so yeah, uh, yeah leave those comments. All right, but that's it here for Iceborne Spiders. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for the next video.